I might need help getting these on. Great. Let's wait. Save it. 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 Are we recording? <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> there we go. Oh, thank you, Megan. Oh man, <laughs> is that good? Uh, you guys oh, are good. definitely going to see me wince uh, a number of times over the course of this uh, uh, podcast. I will be <laughs> wincing um, because the pain medication has not quite kicked in yet. Now, what are we on? Uh, well. Uh, j just uh, Tylenol and Percocet. Okay. Yeah, I, which I had to fight really hard to get because the opioid crisis is is has basically made things like impossible to get something. And it's like, you know, I have a broken bone. I I, I think like I should be able to, like the orthopedist that I went to, um, who by the way said I was going to heal in three weeks and I didn't need surgery. So that's that's good. That's good news. Couldn't prescribe me. Um, a narcotic and I'm like you're a surgeon like you I have a broken bone like you can't give me something because they gave me Percocet at the uh, ER and uh, and it worked like it works it does it does what it's supposed to do it like makes yeah. you not feel the pain you know what I mean and then when I ran out of that and just was using Tylenol I was like this is horrible. Yeah. I'm in horrendous pain. They say, though, if you combine the Tylenol with an ibuprofen, that, yes. that it's as effective as a, a narcotic, but, and you don't have the, the sort of like um, yeah, either yeah. speedy or like a super yeah. fatigue. You don't thing. get the fun part? You don't get the fun part. But, uh, if but it's, it's fun for you. If it's fun for you. Some yeah, people, some people don't like it. Yeah, some, some people, people don't, don't feel like right it. on it. Uh, I also find it hard to believe this is going to heal in three weeks. I snapped my collarbone in half. Uh, I don't really understand, but uh, that's what he said. And now, you know. can you tell us the comedic version of what happened, or is it just going <laughs> to yeah. be like a drag? Yeah, like did you? Yeah, did you do a funny kind of like yeah, yeah. into a garbage the, can? And was there like a the, tell oh. us the story? Mm, uh -huh. mm -hmm. It was the uh, it was the la okay. So uh, my wife and my I took my wife and kids and nephew and uh, we we all went snowboarding in Mammoth, uh, which. We do many, many times a year, every year. I've been doing this for a long time. And uh, it was on the last run of the last day. And the the crazy thing is I was I was at the top and I was talking to my buddy Shane who lives, you maybe you've met Shane. Have you met Shane, uh, Jill's friend from high school who lives in Mammoth, Shane um, Hennis? No. So Shane, uh, he, he always comes out and boards with us. He lives in Mammoth and uh, and, we were at the top and I, and I told Shane, I was like, yeah, this is my last run. And he goes, oh no. He's like, dude, never say that. Never say that. That's really bad luck. And I was like, really? And he was like, yeah, that, that, you've never heard that? And I'm like, no. I was like, I was like, okay. And I made a joke. I was like, I was like, this is not my last run. I'm going to go on a number of runs. From Do you think because he said that to you, you were maybe a little extra tight or something? Like I don't know, but it, but I, I you know, and he felt really bad too because I think he thought maybe that he got in my head. Like he was just joking around, but no, it is it is an actual superstition amongst uh, sure. skiers and snowboarders. Can we set the scene a little bit more? But so the because there are viewers now, but there there are listeners who have no idea what we're talking about. What do you mean? We haven't addressed that you've been hurt. Oh, oh yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 sorry. yeah. You right. have a, a we just, sling. We dove right in. Yeah. Okay, so Glenn has a giant cast that I believe we'll all sign. His uh, his leg uh, is immobilized. Well, not a cast; it's a sling. His leg is immobilized. No, I'm setting a. He's trying to do a dramatic. Yeah, I was thing. Just making sorry, more of a thing. I, sorry, I didn't sleep great last night. Again. Sorry, so, that's okay. Okay, so you didn't it sleep great, and you're in pain. Okay, this yeah, should be this yeah, should yeah. be great, Megan. Let's, yeah, he slept okay. great, but his jokes are bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, so no, uh, so okay, so I broke my clavicle. Um, I snapped my clavicle. Um, I was going off a jump uh, at the very almost the very beginning of a run. I was doing the park. Oh, um, oh, oh, yeah, it's probably not something a 45 year old man should still yeah, be doing. Say, at what age do you stop, do you jump, stop doing jumping? The park? What do you just, when, when do you stop going to parks just in general? Like, uh -huh. I mean, playgrounds more because they call it a park, but really it's a playground for children. Well, no, uh, it, no, it's like big jumps and stuff. I like know. That. But what I'm saying is it would be equivalent. Like when you say a park, you think, oh, Central Park. It's a nice like right. place to. But what that is, is like a, an adventure land of moguls and, and yeah. jumps. And it's quite yeah. dangerous for people who don't ski or snowboard. The park is the is the a section on certain runs that they have where they have like you know jumps and boxes they have like features that you can do crazy shit off of on your skis or snowboard uh and i was going off uh, a particularly high big 
jump and one that I'd done many times before and landed beautifully. Um, and I did not land beautifully this time. This time I landed right on a corner and I caught an edge and it whipped me to the ground oh. at a speed that is beyond my comprehension because I literally remember I landed on the corner and then I was on the ground. Yeah. And, and I, and, and I hit my head so hard so so fucking hard like if i if i didn't have a helmet on i would 100 percent be dead 100 there's no doubt in my mind i'd be dead right now if i wasn't wearing a helmet so please everybody out there when you're snowboarding when you're skiing even when you're skiing i mean it's more important when you're snowboarding i think because i, I because like when you're skiing you you kind of you tend to fall on your side because your skis are going this way but when you're on a snowboard it's so easy to whip backwards, backwards and yeah. fall back onto your head or forward <sighs> So that's what it was. You whipped backwards. When I don't you said? know. I actually don't know. I don't. I don't understand how I landed on my shoulder. Joe was yeah. like, "You're on a snowboard. How do you land on your shoulder? Because yeah. the board is going." Yeah, if you turn, I guess you turned your body. Yeah. I, so I, I'm not quite sure what happened, but I think I landed on my shoulder first, and then, you know, whipped my head into the ground, broke the clavicle. But weirdly, the thing that hurts more than that is the is my back. It like jacked my back up really bad so that's the thing that i'm that that i'm experiencing that i'm experiencing the most pain with is is my back it's, um, a, it's such a dangerous sport you're flying down a mountain you're yeah. flying down a mountain and gravity <laughs> is pulling you down as fast as possible Wasn't there a guy there's an actor that just got killed yeah yeah somebody just so sad. you know that, yeah that, like that. a french actor yeah. right yeah yeah People i heard die about all the time skiing yeah yeah it's uh i mean yeah, but it also I, the few times that I've gone, it, it is very fun. It's super it's fun. It's so fun, you know. And and uh, you know, if you're a radical person, yeah, yeah, who wants yeah. to and just you like stay radical, shred, and you, you want to stay yeah. radical, yeah. and you yeah. want to shred, you have to shred. You I must know, but the shred. problem with that, like, is it's. It, I I imagine now that like Jill is taking care of both your boys and has to like open a can of peas for you. It feels very unradical. That's for less her. radical, yeah. <laughs> you know what well, I mean? For like, both of you, really, because yeah, you're sort of an invalid. Can peas? Yeah. No, I know. I'm saying. <laughs> she's to, gonna wash my kale trying to yeah 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 <laughs> she's gotta rinse your kale yeah, you can't do it actually it hurts All to right, laugh okay no, let's try not to make Glenn laugh oh wow okay it does so, that's okay I'll, I'll, I'll power the through it because I do laughter. enjoy I do enjoy I do, I do enjoy a good laugh <laughs> Uh, I took my first shower last night in many, many days. That felt good. Oof. Great. And bad, because it hurt. Everything hurts. It hurts. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but broken bones hurt. <laughs> I uh, don't really know it. I guess I've never I broken a I bone. Little, little hairline fracture. Bone I, uh, but, but I think I broke a. I think I've broken a couple toes, like stubbing them, you know, because they, wherever they've turned like really stiff and blue and swollen but uh but i've never really broken a bone before rob was mentioning um do you want to bring it up yeah yeah the uh, i was listening to the the most recent podcast the gang exploits a miracle um and i you are talking very specifically about doing stunts because you you did one where you felt we were talking about how great the stunt was you fell like off a, a stool off the stool yeah and you were like you know back when i was younger i would do i would do those kinds of stunts and it was like it would be fun, but mm -hmm. now I would be nervous that I would like break my shoulder. I've, you literally say like, I'm going to like separate my shoulder. So I don't like do stupid things anymore like that. Cause I don't want to hurt my shoulder. <laughs> oh man. Now, can you classify skiing as stupid? Yes, I do think I, but also fun, undeniably fun. There's yeah. just a risk involved. It's <laughs> like, risk, if you want to ski, you want to go to, you want to ski the park, as you but say, guys, you want to ride a motorcycle. There's a risks involved. That's in how I get off. Yeah. I I'm know. I know. You know what I mean? Like that's I how I, it's, it makes you, there's something about being just on the edge of, her, of, of breaking, breaking something, something or really hurting yourself that like makes you feel alive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you know, right. Well, yeah, I yeah. mean, you've gotten pretty, you've shredded some serious gnar. I have, past. I have, but I've slow, I've slowed down. When was the last time? Yeah, you don't go. You I, don't I went go last year. I, if my kids were super into it, I would go. I, we didn't learn. I didn't learn how to ski. The first time I went skiing, I was in, I was in my thirties, I think. I, yeah. and, and the same for you, right? Oh, when when we did the episode. Was that the first time you'd ever skied when we did no, the no, ski? No, I had we all were I had all your bachelor party. No, but we, we, I was snowboarding then, but I learned how to snowboard in my in my like I was thirty yeah. or thirty one. Same. 
Yeah. Yeah. I was, was just, we, never we, learned, we learned at the same time. The same time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because uh, we were going out with Zach Knight and he, yeah. he, he was like taking us to Big Bear and stuff like that. And I, I'd been skiing my whole life, but I, I always wanted to try. It was super fun. I just see more and more people getting very seriously hurt. And I'm like, I enjoy it, but not enough. Really? For that. Yeah. Yeah. I went, I went like twice as a kid to a place called Yagu Ski Valley in Rhode Island. So it was more like a hill than a mountain. There was like one chair, but you were down at the bottom of the chair in 10 minutes, you know? Uh, and then I didn't go again until your bachelor party. Uh, so I was in my 30s or whatever. And the very first run, I went with you guys and you guys all just went flying down the hill. And I was like, where the fuck am I? I'm like, oh, I'm on like a triple black diamond. And I was like, I can see like a cliff to my left. And yeah. I'm like, how the fuck am I going to get down this thing? <laughs> and I basically, you well, know, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just, yeah. go. Just go. Just go. I, well, I figured Don't it was like, a bitch. A, I know how to skate. So maybe it's like the edges. So I, I, I like turn to the side. I like do that old jump and turn. And then I'm like, just stopped. Yeah. Well, hold on and a second. Like, Wait. Just, I remember Can you I just, being really good at this, it. This is what I was about to say. Okay. Well, so a, we the, talked about this in an yeah. earlier episode. How Charlie's a good athlete. Maybe you wouldn't expect it, but Charlie is possibly the best athlete of the three of us. And I think that's definitely true. Well, I, and this is just another example of that because I remember you saying like, I haven't skied since I was like a kid. And I, and I remember thinking like, oh, he's going to, this is going to be a little rough. And you looked like somebody who skis, not like, expert but like you 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 look like somebody who knew it well i did it, but that was rough that was going down that black time i yeah. wound up going down on my butt and then being like fuck i gotta go back up on this hill like the whole time just being like trying to survive mm -hmm. you know yeah, not yeah. really like joy riding yeah. just be like just let me get to the bottom without <laughs> a broken god on that but first run yeah. when we did the episode you and i went out with a ski instructor and she's like i'll have you uh going down black diamonds within an hour and she did I, like but that That's was the, impressive. That yeah. was, she was really good. And uh, that was the last time I've been on a mountain. So now I feel like if I went again, no, I'd have to yeah. relearn no, it again. You, 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 it, would, it would come back to you. Uh, yeah. It's in your body. I don't it want a broken goes. collarbone, though. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's like you said. It's like, is that something that you enjoy so much that you're willing to possibly have a broken collarbone? Because yeah. The first thing I thought was, you know, after I really, really hurt my ankle and playing basketball in my late 20s, that pretty much was the end. I mean, I still play basketball occasionally, but like I don't really play anymore because of that. And I thought like, oh, no, like, am I going to lose snowboarding? It's my favorite thing in the world to do. And I was like, but then I just kind of was like, you know what, I, I'll. I'll heal and I'm just going to keep doing it. Yeah. I'm just going to keep doing it because I yeah, love it. It's like motor. Like I, I like to ride a motorcycle. I learned how to ride. A motor I'm like, Oh, this is fun, but, and it's not worth it to me to like go out and get like murdered on a, on a freeway. But yeah. for so many people, they're like that. The risk is worth it yeah. to me because it's so much fun. Yeah. It's I, I see the whole thing gets thrown out of whack when you have kids, right? Mm -hmm. Like when you have kids, it's no longer just your life, right? Like, uh, if I, yeah, it seems like it'd be very cool to zip around on a motorcycle all the time. I think I would enjoy that. But it's, I'm also like, but then if I totally, no fault of my own, get fucking hit by someone who's texting, right? And then that's it. I'm like, yeah, fucked. That's you know? the thing. Yeah. It's, or it's like, my kid has to feed me through a straw or something for the rest of my life because I'm paralyzed. Like, then that, that, I don't, I don't feel like I can justify that. Yes, because, level of risk. Be, yeah, well, maybe be, maybe when they're out the door, it's like, hey, look, you're 18 and I'm 105. <laughs> I'm gonna go <laughs> ride motorcycles now, or whatever. But I like that's just me. I think I, you know, I'm overly cautious with you're that. You're risk averse. Shit. I'm risk averse. I am. You are very risk averse. Um, Is he? I, yeah, I think I so. Mean, I mean, I, I, not I in an unhealthy way. I wouldn't think. I'd like. I I understand what you're saying, but I I wouldn't have thought of you that way. That, that he's being more said, I'm measured. Not, he's I, more measured. Like I, I, we tend to go like all like hot in various things. And yeah, not that he, he doesn't get hot, but he, we're both Aries. Charlie thought, yeah, we're oh, both Aries. Christ. You know, that was in the, you, is that it's in the stars. Is that a new thing? You're oh, it's in the stars. <laughs> okay, this it's is in the stars. It was in the stars. This is ancient knowledge. Okay, um, that's never going to change. Like where you are born in relation to the stars is who you are. 
there's nothing you can do about it. You're an Aries. I'm an Aries. And that's just the we way it is. Hot and we're just radical by nature. He's radical by nature. Yeah, no, that's just how it is. Oof, that just sounds like a cool band name we should start. Radical, radical by, by nature. nature. Yeah. Oh, it's, by, it's good and bad. Too close to naughty by nature, well, right? I know. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. 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 And but naughty not, by nature is just a better name. Well, but we're not naughty. <laughs> we're radical. <laughs> You've never been naughty. Radical by <laughs> reputation. <laughs> This is the first episode of season three. Yeah. yeah. So we're picked up for one season? Yeah. They, yes. They picked us up for one for season. For one yeah. season. Yeah. We but have, 15 episodes. Uh, 15 episodes. So we're excited about that. We don't realize yet how difficult Daunting. that's going to be for us. Yeah. Um, we have an office for the first time mm -hmm. in Marina Del Rey. Mm -hmm. uh, couldn't be further from Playa. my house. It was actually Playa Del Rey. Playa Del Rey. Yeah. That's right. Uh, good long commute for me. Oh, God. Um, yeah, crazy! I, I couldn't believe it. Brutal, crazy. You really took one for the team. I was you thinking sure about it's a real pattern as I drove into to this podcast this morning. It's like we set up a real, like never has there yeah. ever been an office in my neighborhood. Well, no, you know, no, you guys right? have never no. quite had to hike all well, the way yeah, over so there. So the the office was in Playa del Rey, and people outside of California might not understand the geography, but just this this will give you a good sense where I lived was Marina del Rey. So you were right next door. You could, you could, I was in the Del Rey's. You can yeah, put them yeah, together. Yeah, and yeah, Glenn yeah. was in Venice, which is right next to Marina Del Rey. Yeah. <laughs> so they were all kind of right next to each other. And I was like other. an hour and, and a half away. Are you might well be on another fucking planet. I know. Crazy. All good though. I, I didn't. I don't mind to drive, but um, uh, those offices were a dump. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, but we had stages next to them. Yes. Yes. Also a dump. They weren't really stages. They were they were like out. They were old like factories or something. And they had out quote unquote outfitted it, but it was also by the airport. Well, that's what I was gonna say. I remember. I remember like those stages because that's the whole point of, of of being on a stage, right? Is you're in a very controlled environment where you control the sound and the look and everything. You know, it's but you could hear every single airplane. Yeah, we were yeah, literally yeah. Ne next to fucking LAX. <laughs> so every eight minutes, a new plane would go would right. go over, yeah. which you just don't realize. You're not thinking about it when you're not on a soundstage and everybody's quiet, how often an airplane <laughs> is going over Yeah, soundstage is a real generous term for what that was. It was like a warehouse that right. like they just finally stopped like using as a chop shop. And they're like, you want to make a movie here? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Is it yeah. soundproof? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, what, yeah. Do you, what do you mean? Like a roof? Yeah, we got a roof. Um, <laughs> it's not quite what we mean, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think that was the first year we had an assistant. It was. Yeah. Adam Stein. Adam, Adam Stein. Stein. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. he would get us coffees from Starbucks every morning. And that was the first time I had like someone like getting us a coffee. Right. Oh, that God, felt it, very Hollywood. It, it felt very yeah. professional. Would you guys like something in the morning? Yes, please. I would like a coffee. And then it would be there. You would you would show up and they would hand you a coffee. And you'd yeah. be like, this is cold. And we had a writing staff. We had to go back and get another one. That's and right. And make sure it's hot. Scream at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah immediately. Yeah. That's yeah, what Got to put him in their throw place. Throw it in his face. And he would like, depending on the level of scalding, you know how hot it was. Yeah. You're like, I'm sorry, that was perfectly hot. Yeah, right, right. this yeah. was back, back yeah, yeah. when you could get away with that. Yeah, yeah. But give me another. Because you, you, yeah. um, give me another one. We right. had a writing staff for the first time. Yes, we had found Rob Roselle, mm -hmm. uh, Scott Martyr, mm -hmm. who at the time were a writing team. Ros or, Martyr and Roselle. Martyr and Roselle, who were yeah, they were so funny and I, brought so much to what the show became. The oh, yeah. wasn't the staff just Martyr Roselle? And Hornsby, or did we have one? Was Lisa Parsons? Oh, we had Lisa Parsons. Yeah, yeah, Lisa. I think Lisa yeah. Parsons. I remember Lisa was obsessed with being on um, Wheel of Fortune. Oh yeah, she. Oh yeah, really watched every episode. Desperately wanted to be on Wheel of Fortune. Right. And I feel like maybe she had been part of the pitch of this episode, or I can't remember. Yeah, well, I know she was. She was heavily involved in the uh, the gang solves the North Korea situation. Yes. Is, is that season three or four? Three. At his three, yeah, I always think of three. it as four, but yeah, you're right. Okay, never mind. Well, the, the, yeah, the Martyr and Roselle, I mean, they changed in the, in the best of ways um, the voice of the show in yeah. like so many different ways, which yeah. was great. Like I can see their influence in this particular episode and then it never what do you really changed. What do you see specifically in this episode uh, that would have been a Martyr Roselle style joke? Well, oddly enough, they, they might not even be like as typical as like where we really got to, which was like, 
melting dogs in the <laughs> in the in the in the alley. But yeah. even just the scene, the scene where I come in with to D with the baby, and instantly we morph into like a married that's cu- you. couple. That, that was that's what, you. Yeah, I feel like that's that, very you. I, I don't know this for I don't know this for a fact, but I that is so totally your style of humor. I well, really I enjoyed that scene. Them. I, I know, enjoyed I that scene wrong. so much when, when it came to it because I was like, oh, this is just very real. One of my yeah. favorite scenes. Were you guys dating then? Was that weird? Mm, yeah, you yeah. were dating oh, season three. Yes, yeah, yeah. by season three, we were, we were definitely weird? dating. Um, is it a glimpse into your home life? I'll tell, you what, I'll tell you what was weird. I have no problems telling the story because it's been so long ago. When we were in Philadelphia shooting that season, I remember um, getting, we, we spent so, we, none of us had kids and all we would do is shoot all day and then go out and get blind drunk, right. remember? It was like a party, we had so much fun. And we stayed in some hotel and so we had just started dating. Like, I mean, not that long before that. Um, enough to where I was still like, oh, I wanna like impress this, impress this, this young woman. And we got, I don't know, again, blind drunk. And the next morning, I wake up and she's like, man, you sweat like crazy last night. It's hot. Is it hot in here? I'm like, I don't know. I usually sweat at night. I don't, I don't know. And I'm like, it is sweating. And like the sheets are like soaking mm. wet. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I, I guess I am. And then she was like, she smelled it. And she was like, you pissed all over me. You pissed the bed. I pissed the bed. You pissed all over her. Wow. Which has never, ha- never happened before. And has never happened since. Wow. You were that drunk. I was that inebriated that I peed on my new girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've definitely been like, had to pee really bad in the morning and had dreams that I was going to pee and then yeah. that, that's what wakes me up and then I go and take a leak. But it never has, somehow there's a blocking mechanism and I yeah. don't know why I don't pee I don't in either. bed, but I don't. Yeah. I yeah. don't know why I did in that in particular moment either. I've, I've been inebriated before and inebriated since. Did her reaction to you peeing on the bed and all of her uh, make you go, wow, this woman is really something else. She like, thought it was the funniest thing okay, that could possibly that's, that's happen. That's what I mean. And that's I was like, I mean. we're going to get, I'm marrying this I'm marrying, I, dude, yes. You know, I, that's I, what I, sealed the deal of us deciding to get married. And since then we've lived in wedded bliss. I remember, this is a funny memory, but I remember shooting that thing where I find the Alibaba sword in the dump. And I remember, you know, them being like, this is going to be hard to shoot. Like this is bigger production value. This whole episode has a lot more production value than our other ones. Um, You know, rain machines and shit. But uh, even that, they had to build that mound of garbage. I was like, why don't we just like go to a dump somewhere? (laughs) And they're like, buddy, you don't want to just be in the dump rummaging around the trash. And not until now watching it was I like, oh yeah, I didn't want to just be. Yeah. So I think they- I think we cr- were actually fighting for that. We were like, cause it was so expensive just to- To like, build the hill, budget. Yeah, to, to build put a all the trash bags. Exactly. And, and then we were like, let's just go to a dump. We can do it. We can do it. We can yeah. do it. And Fox was like, you cannot, FX was like, you cannot it's go- too much of a liability, to a right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I will have they, hepatitis gonna... by the time I get to the bottom yeah. of that hill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the crew will be breathing in the garbage air all day. Charlie, do you remember if- um chopping a camel in its hump with this thing and drinking the milk off the tip of the sword if that line was uh scripted or did you no that <laughs> way no way you you i remember distinctly you making that up in the middle in the in the middle of that scene you do yes yeah. i was like that is insane it is so fucking funny what he's talking about chopping a camel in its hump and drinking its milk <laughs> i was like this dude who is this guy like who comes up with something that funny that fast it was probably a combo of me not knowing whether or not there was actually milk in there. <laughs> you know, like like doing the riff, but yeah. also being like slightly unsure. Like, is it water? Is it milk? Is it just like, <laughs> is it just a cellular growth? What's in there? What's in that camel sub? I don't actually know. I it's don't, important to I embrace our ignorance and and, yeah. and go with it because there is a lot of comedy in what we actually don't oh, yeah. know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's how I know that that was de- that was definitely uh, an ad lib. The line I believe was, and I bet I bet you if we dig up the script we could find it. The line was Frank, it's an Alibaba sword, 
And so you start with, check out what I found. I can yeah. cut a hammer. And then he gives a line and you keep going over, over him to get in the actual line, which is, it's an Alibaba uh, sword, yeah, which yeah. you must have felt like was necessary for some reason. Yeah. And, and it wasn't, but you, but you, you had ad-libbed all this funny thing. So you're saying Danny thought, was being a professional and trying to throw in whatever his Whatever script it was that he was. was supposed to say. And then Charlie like finished the, finished the line. Right. I'd have to go back and watch that again. This this episode was the first one that Jerry Levine uh, directed. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember being so like, so like nerdy excited because uh, I grew up watching the movie Teen Wolf. Like I've seen that movie a thousand times and Jerry Levine plays uh, the character Styles, and he's just so funny in it. He's so good. Did you guys grow up watching that movie? Yes. I mean, it wasn't one of those that I would watch over <laughs> no, and over again, I mean, but I'd seen it. I think I saw it once and I was like, it's a... Not yeah. for me. We had the hair bothers me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, oh. Yeah, yeah. The I was like, this is upsetting. It, 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 it was like, upsetting. He's in short, short shorts. That's I feel uncomfortable. It was also confusing because it was like he was really hairy, obviously, because he was a werewolf. Um, and yet, it, it, somehow, he it, that made him sexier to people and to women and more popular. It's like if a what, dude what, showed up I, like that in a real high school, they'd be like, oh, they'd, kill, they'd kill him. They'd kill it. They'd kill it. <laughs> they'd kill it. They'd kill it. They'd like, kill and they'd it. be right to do kill so. It. I mean, it's a monster. It's a monster. Yeah. You can't it's trust a monster. It. We know it's a monster. We've seen mo movies about this monster. Yeah. yeah. Numerous movies. Yeah. You know, just because he wants to play basketball doesn't mean he's up, not up to something. And why is a, why is a werewolf naturally better at basketball than well than a i think human. A, a, a wolf just has jumping abilities that a human doesn't i have. think what it is is michael can he dribble J the michael j fox the <laughs> michael j the, fox that's a human combo coming in that's exactly the michael j fox guy he was a decent basketball player but then when you add like the physical abilities of a werewolf into the mix then you know, you've got uh, yeah. you've, you've got a, a real situation on your hands. Yeah, and, Michael and, J. Fox, like all men who are five two, are probably pretty good at basketball. <laughs> right. But what does it take to really excel? And that's that's a werewolf genes. <laughs> uh, well, I believe that that movie is about puberty, isn't it? I think that's the whole thing. It's like it's. I think it's supposed to be so like the an hair, al an the hair is yeah. coming. So the fact that you're talking about hair and yeah. then like why women fight. It's like I think it's like you're transforming into a right. Dudes, don't worry. <laughs> the hair's okay. Yeah, you yeah. can still be somebody despite all this new hair. That was the message. <laughs> yeah, that was the message. Yeah, because with that hair comes like mad hops. Then our buddy Jason Bateman did Teen Wolf Two. He sure, sure and, did, and that's T O O. Yeah, as in Teen Wolf. Also, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, listener, please go check that out. Check out Teen Wolf Two with Jason and Bateman. Almost ruined his career, right? That almost, that almost, that put him in movie jail for a little bit. I think it might have. According yeah. to him, I feel like he, that's. I, I believe that. I don't yeah. want to put words in his mouth. It tanked. But yeah, it is, and he was a he he was a boxer in that movie, right? And they didn't get Jerry Levine to play. They got like a different guy to play Styles. No, you know, not to bag on that guy. I don't know who that guy is, but like. He's no Jerry Levine. Jerry yeah. Levine was like amazing in that movie. He's so funny. I never understood why he stopped acting and just became a director. He's a great director too, but I do miss that genre of movie, which is like the that eighties comedy that feels very uh, inexpensively produced. Yeah. But the, like just pure fun. Just I feel fun. like that's kind of gone away. Yeah. It's gone. Is it? Ah. Uh, I mean, you know, there's, there's a handful there's of them that, that come out these days. I mean, I like Booksmart was, you know, like a high school comedy, high school that, comedy was, right. that was just so, so great. Um, but yeah, it's not, there's not as many of them as there were in the 80s. The they 80s were awesome. really, really a heyday for those uh, high concept, stupid, silly comedies. Well, speaking of stupid, silly comedies, what else about this dumpster baby uh, do you guys <laughs> well, recall? Well, I wanted to ask you guys, um, I wanted to ask you guys, like, do you remember how the idea, how this idea came about and like where the idea of like finding a baby in a dumpster and how yeah. it tied in with like global warming and throwaway culture and all that? Well, certainly um, uh, it, an inconvenient truth had just come out, I right. think, the previous year. And so that was a huge part of the, the popular culture and conversation but then also at the same time uh unrelated there was like three or four different stories about people finding babies in the trash really yes and in and we we were like what the fuck is going on why are people throwing out and your first children? thought was now that's funny well <laughs> well i think yeah 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 right we were like yeah. you know yeah I, yeah, I mean, I wasn't that always the goal of the show to take things that nobody else were ta was talking about and see if we could find a, 
a comedic spin to it, which is yes. like, hey, the act in and of itself is not funny, but man, what what would happen if characters like this found, found but one? But I guess we never really say like who the parents were or anything, right? It's no. just that the baby's in the trash and then the baby goes to child services. Yeah. yeah. At the end. And now that baby's probably... Oh, 14, out, 15 out, years old, right? I think older than that. Can, can, wow. we, can we try to track that baby down? How's DB yeah. doing? How's DB doing? I would like to... I All would actually, up? I'm sure it was a set of twins, right? Because they always yeah. have twins. Yeah. When you have a baby on set... For, I, they might have been triplets. It, it, was, it was triplets. It was triplets. Yeah. It was triplets. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, so... I, so weird hollywood thing where it's like okay you get five minutes with each baby and if this one's not performing you you know this one's a good crier you know this one's good at your goo goo gagas and uh <laughs> this know. one nails the goo goo gagas almost every time this one he cries a lot what, what do you want lot, Which one you know, this one's got kind of a wonky eye so you want to shoot over its shoulder <laughs> But like, uh, you know. <laughs> this was the mutant. This yeah. was the mutant. You don't want this one yeah. uh, for the cute shots. But yeah, yeah. he's he's gonna have the best career. Yeah, yeah, the guy yeah. with the wonky eye is gonna have the best career. Oh, yeah, yeah, eventually, yeah. eventually, eventually. But for now, it's gonna you know. Yeah, my throw people. The baby's uh, not on IMDb. So. I saw that. I tried Damn to find him too. I There's wanted no to justice. See. I know. That, yeah, really. Look, well, he's got to be in the credits, right? Not. I mean, no. N- not maybe they IMDb. didn't want it. Maybe they I saw am it. Dumpster baby. <laughs> He's not on IMDb. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he is DB. What do you mean he's not on IMDb? <laughs> uh, that was teed up beautifully. Oh, well. Oh, God. Um, I'm waking up. <laughs> yeah, it was... Uh... I, I remember this whole season. I, <laughs> we definitely got to the editing room and we were devastated every every time. And it wasn't because we had um, terrible editors. In fact, Josh Driscoll has been with us from day one. I think we overwrote these episodes. I think we, mm-hmm. we, we would write episodes that would be like 40 pages. We did. We had to wow. hack them down yeah, so whatever. much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, our runtime was longer, right? So we were given a little bit more length. And I, I like that actually watching this episode. I'm like, oh, there's a little more room for a few more twists and turns which i think is good yeah but we also you know we were figuring it out as we went so we're like i don't know how many pages equals the 22 minutes were allotted so you know we're guessing it's 30 or maybe it's 28 and then sometimes we riff and things get expanded and yeah some of those episodes were but you get so a, you get a long. cut that's thirty five minutes long, and you got to cut it down to twenty two minutes. Brutal. Like yeah, you 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 end up cutting a bunch of jokes uh, that don't necessarily progress the story, just to make sure that the story stays on track. You know, because you can't cut like crucial story beats without you know compromising things. Usually, I mean, sometimes you can, but so you got so you end up cutting jokes, and it's very painful to cut jokes. Because boy, do you think you're funny? You watch, you're like, I'm so funny here. You, you want to cut this? I don't remember mm-hmm. anything that got cut from that episode, though. No, nor do I. It doesn't no. matter. You don't need it. Do you guys remember how hard it was to get Riders on the Storm, that song? Was it hard? Yeah. I, I don't remember. It was expensive and we had to sort of push, push for it. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good in the episode. Like, I, yeah, love, yeah. I love that scene with you and Danny in the. In the rain by the dumpster? Yeah. Yeah, so do I. I uh, you know, it's funny. I don't really remember shooting that. But I do remember him and I just sleeping on the subway grate, which we shot in Philly. Yeah. There's a couple scenes we shot in Philly. My stepmother's in the show. Mary. Oh, yeah, Mary. Mary, yeah. My, oh, my, oh, mother, my mother's wife, yeah. yeah. With Lucy. Yeah, with Lucy DeVito, yeah. Yeah, when the, the two ladies that stop you and D when you're walking down the street with yeah. DB. And they're like, oh, man, he's such a They cute. give us the idea for to, to yeah. put put him in commercials. There's a shot in star. there I don't love, which is you guys looking right into Me, the crib. I, yeah. That was pretty stylized I like from the that. baby's point of view i didn't mind that that's like why are we in the baby's point of view we're not in the baby's point of view anywhere else in the storytelling so then to jump into the baby's point of view felt weird mm-hmm. to me but mm. yeah you know whatever it's not i don't know it's good. that doesn't make a break re- we should recut it i think it's not re-edit too late it. to maybe reshoot yeah we could, we, Is it too late let's to get reshoot? jerry levine on the phone and see if he can explain to us what he was thinking He'll definitely remember. I, but that might have been us. I, I feel like maybe that was like one of the things that we pitched to him. Like, hey, let's do this. And he's like, yeah, whatever, whatever you guys want. It's your show. I, I think idiots. I, I kind of want to reshoot that. I kind of want to reshoot an episode from like season one or season two, shot for shot. That might be fun. Yeah. That might be fun. And, and just see. It'll be depressing. Oh, it'll be, oh, it'll be horrifically depressing. It'll be humiliating, which is great. Would we change the, di- would we, would it be the same story, but like the dialogue's exactly the same? Because I feel like we don't make 
It's quite the same jokes now. It might be interesting to do a story where we're we're doing the same things, right? But we don't realize it. But every now and then one of us is like, some of this feels familiar to me. Mm -hmm. But (laughs) (laughs) it's like basically the exact same story. Yeah. But and then maybe someone's like, no, we've done this before. It's like, no way we would just make the same mistakes. And the episode's about just like sort of making the same mistakes over and over. But yeah, like, that's a good idea. That Guys, the, this is isn't how... Isn't that the gang recycles the yes. trash? Yeah, oh, we yeah, did yeah, that. We did 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 do that. We did that. We did that. Damn we might, did we do one where we recycle our trash again? We might have done like no, a sequel to that. We no, we did one. I don't know. We only did one. No, well, we this one's about trash as well. Ah, the trash stuff I enjoyed so much. Yeah. Well, so, a lot of like, that, I remember being on set too, and a lot of that is super is improv. I remember you turning to Frank when you're just looking through the trash and talking oh, about yeah. how great it is and saying, uh, holding up something and saying electrics. Yeah, electrics. Yeah, really yeah. Electrics. Yeah. Yeah. Danny's saying that whatever the thing's like a ray gun, like the little. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Taking the hose. He was talking about with the hose. He's like, oh, you can uh, wrap things up with this. Yeah, you can, we can, we'll just wrap stuff up. So excited about it. <laughs> uh, should we own up to um, one of our mistakes in this season hmm. um, when it comes to the production design? Oh, oh, the, the I didn't, floor didn't even notice it in the episode, but yeah, I, I didn't go notice back and it look. in this one. But I remember this being the the season where somebody did did that happen without us realizing, without us yes. knowing. Yes, yes. <laughs> so what had happened was that the the floor of the bar in season one and two was was flooring that was existed in the space that we were filming the Herald Examiner. The parquet floor. Yeah, this parquet floor. Uh, and it's very expensive to create and produce that. And so, and in order to like cut corners and save some money, they had decided not to replicate like our, some, I don't want to throw anyone specific under the bus. But right, because like, we were shooting in the Examiner where it just, that was the that floor. That was the floor. Right. So, Someone had said, hey, let's cut a corner, save some money. And they changed the floor of the bar to just these like flat brown wood planks. They also really brightened up the colors in Sweet D's apartment with like bright right, purples right. and stuff. And we didn't realize, you know, because you're doing a million things you, until we got into the editing room. We're like, what is different? Why is this all feeling different? Yeah. And eventually, you know, season four, we changed it back, but mm-hmm. we shot the whole season with different fucking floors. And in the it bar. drove us crazy. But did uh, did we ever hear anybody? Like, I never heard anybody mention no, it. We yeah, should look on no, the Reddit. But it's Meg, a... Meg, check the Reddit, Meg. Check the Reddit. Oh, is, there a, is there a sunny floor Reddit? I hope I don't not. Know. I hope not. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. have other things to do. It's more like us, our own sense of like quality, you know? Yeah. That it's irritating. Yeah. And that was not the alleyway. No. no, that was a different alleyway. That was a sort of fake set alleyway, which was right off of yes, uh, this warehouse that we were filming in. Oh, right. Yep. From a production standpoint, I get it. It was like let's save money. Let's let's try to get everything all in one location, so we're not spending a lot on company moves, moving the entire place downtown just to shoot in a stinky alleyway. But I don't know. It's, uh, something something feels lost. Yeah. You know what was oh. great about that alley? Whenever we shot down down there, is that it was the it, that door to Patty's is a working restaurant. Oh yeah, and it yeah, was yeah. a Korean restaurant. No, no, it was um uh, those little like meat filled sandwich things. Like what are they empanadas? called? Empanadas. Empanadas. Yeah, it was an empanada place. It was. Uh, yeah, I'm positive. Well, either I way, it was a wor- it was a working restaurant, yeah. and I remember that we never ever were able to ask them like to buy out the the nah. restaurant. So the and they would the, the owner or whoever the general manager wouldn't tell the staff like to stop cooking or what was happening. Do so- not <laughs> stop making empanadas. I I implore you, no matter what happens today, keep your head down, get those empanadas made. All right, <laughs> don't stop. Okay, there Things might be some be people having. coming in and out. They might be behaving weirdly. Don't look at them. Don't acknowledge them. Just make empanadas. For the love of God, make empanadas. God forbid a cop box in here and we're not making empanadas. And they this whole thing goes to shit, you know, because ain't nobody buying these empanadas. It's all front. It's what's inside the empanadas, you know, if you know, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. 
Well, yeah, it was, so we would have access to it and the door would open and we would go in and generally it would be like, like us bursting out the door because you yeah, yeah. didn't want to see in. But there would be times between like when, when before we would roll and then like you'd be inside this restaurant where they're making <laughs> empanadas. Yeah, yeah, preparing to do have your do your exit. Yeah. And, and there's like and a guy. Like, well, and you have a radio and they're like, okay, action. And you're like, did he say action? I don't know. Did he say action? Because they're blasting music and yeah. making <laughs> them. <laughs> you know, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. out. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and the guys like they wouldn't even really even look at us. No. It was just, they Dork couldn't care there's less. There's something going on in there, right? Maybe there was. They were filling those empanadas with something. I some. think that's a funny little thing about this business where that happens a lot. Like you go on a location scout or something, and you're like walking through like a weird kitchen of a working place, and it's you and a team of people, and the, no one ever tells the people working there. They don't ever shut it down. Like maybe. Usually, like a big movie, will like buy the place out for a while. But most places, are like, no, keep the empanadas going. We'll be in and out. We just need your doorway. That's a weird yeah. thing. It just happened this year. We, we were shooting the scene where you and I were walking down the street in Dublin, and um, we were doubling it with another street, and and they just didn't lock it down at all. So every time we would go back to our starting point, there would be like some guy that would come up and be like, hey, Mac and Charlie. We'd be like, hey, bud. And he's like, hey, can I take a photo? We're like, sure. There's no, but we're in the middle of a scene. Like, yeah. uh, all good. Like, no problem. But is there any <laughs> lockdown? Is there any security? Is there? Well, this is, is something you've been bitching about for years. You're always like, I don't, you're always like, you, we, we talk to the locations people. We're yes. like, can we lock this street down? We need to lock the street down. They're like, the LA, you just they can't won't do let it. us do it. LA, can't do LA it. County will not let let you lock down a city street. And, and I'm like, fuck number. you. I've seen Jerry Bruckheimer yes. movies where they're blowing cars up and people up and helicopters up in the middle of the yeah, street. Yeah. Are you, you telling, telling me, me they didn't lock that down? Yeah, there's just there's just like some guy driving by in his Honda Civic, right? Is that Transformers blowing yeah. up? And then the answer is, well, oh, well, no, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, for and the right, right price. You just said you, we can't do it. Well, you can't do it. No, sorry. What I meant is you can't do it. Sorry, yeah, is your yeah, last yeah. name Bruckheimer? Yeah, yeah. No, but it's equally difficult to pronounce. <laughs> What park was that where we had chained, uh, what's that actor's name, to the tree? He was very funny. God, he, he was great. He was great in it. Yeah, I don't remember what park that was. Uh, I think it was a park on La Siena. Yeah. Um, the one you're cutting over towards the airport? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We shot there a couple times. We have shot there Danny a couple times. Danny being stuck in the coil. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Todd Grinnell. Todd Grinnell. Todd Grinnell. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, Todd Grinnell. God, he was, he was great. And our friend Isaac played Mountain. Isaac oh, he's Tobias. great. Yeah. Isn't he great? Yeah. He's so great in it. He's, that's another guy I was, uh, I was always like, I think, I, he, why is he not an actor? He's, he's, so, a, prop, he's a prop master. I know, you know, master, sometimes when you're director. not an actor, yeah. it's just you're better. It's that it's that weird thing about like the person just is the person <laughs> and it's interesting to watch. Jackie Tone. Yeah. Jackie Tone. Jack, yeah. What, she was, was great. Was she on American Idol? She's gone on to do some other. Yeah. Well, she's acts as well, but I, I no, think a she, singer. Was a, she was a singer, right? Yeah, she's a singer and a musician. I think like she was on like America's Got Talent or, yeah, she was or on American Idol, ones. maybe. I think yeah. she was on American Idol. I think uh, you're right. Danny Hill American was uh, Idol, yeah. Mary Elizabeth's friend who plays the guy in the tanning bed. Oh, the so, orange yes. asshole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, hear that, I hear that often just to get a bass. People, people just to get, yeah, get a bass. Just to get a bass. Yeah, there was that. I always found that very, very funny. Well, I don't. we don't need a full tan. Yeah. We just need to lay the the base layer down do you guys you don't tan right you don't don't uh, me yeah go do out. i look like i tan no i know you don't tan <laughs> no. you, you might go you don't go out of your way to tan no, right like, no 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 this this no come this on skin is not yeah yeah made to tan not yeah. made to tan pretty crazy thing to go into a tanning booth and just like cook right. me cook yourselves yeah yeah because for i was always reason, tempted like, to do it when i was single because uh -huh. I was always like, uh -huh. I'm so pale. Like, if I could just get a little base and keep it. Yeah, sure. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, right. I don't need to be like, you know. Orange. Orange or, or yeah. even fully brown. I just need to be like, a I just need to look like I've spent a little bit of time in the sun. You know what I mean? But why Where not just pop that man. shirt off when you go play a little basketball? Well, well no, yeah. I'll do. I will do that. I do do that. Yeah. Glenn's, but Glenn's, and rightfully so. But you started earlier than most of us when we would go to the beach together when we lived in Venice and yeah. or Marina del Rey. And I would show up, and uh, and you would you would look purple. I know you had so much sunblock on. Yeah, it yeah. was a very weird shade of purple. Yeah, that the because it, it would be like a very specific kind of What's sunblock. That, it's that mineral sunscreen, yeah. right? 
right? Uh, it goes on shit. and it just looks like a, a like a thing yeah. of white. And it and it for me and my skin, it turns me purple. Yeah, I, I don't use like, that. Shit wow, this, this this dude's hardcore. He's yeah. not, but it was great. I mean, he's protecting you from the sun. He's hair. That guy looks like he's, hey, he's very choking. cold. <laughs> he's yeah. Oxygen deprived. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I yeah, know, but right. you don't want to get the. I mean, I've had enough things lopped off my skin from from sun damage. I mean, when yeah. I was a kid. When I was a kid, we would go to the beach and and there was no sunblock. My mother used to spray us with vinegar. Yeah, to get to, to get you dark. Yeah, well, it was to keep away that, the flies. That is, a, that, yeah, that is the funniest thing. Picturing these so like what? McElhenney kids just reeking of vinegar. Yeah, Imagine yeah. like you coming over to a kid like, hey, will you, will you guys want to play uh, frisbee or something? And they're like, oh, God. What Jesus is that Christ. smell? Yeah. My eyes are watering trying to talk to this kid. Oh, shit, man. How yeah. much fish and chips did you have? What the fuck are you? Like, this guy smells like a fucking salad. <laughs> what is this dude's Crazy, deal? crazy. Even worse than <laughs> that. By the like, way, the second you go in the water, that vinegar is off. <laughs> yeah, oh no, but when you came out, she had more of it. She just whacked, she whacked Watch you out down. With She's got the vinegar. <laughs> She's and, gonna blast and, and, it's me. All, and I even look at now I ask her like why why was I sprayed down with vinegar it's and I'm like do you huh? think that they helped like engage the sun in some way and she was like uh it's un, by the way it's it's still unclear 100% uh, she's like, like honey I was loaded I'm yeah, yeah, so she sorry. was oh, oh 100% that's, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's that no doubt we would go yeah. down there with her and her sisters and her friends yeah, and why they would play parcheesi no, what if she, what because if she in like, Jersey they had these like horse flies that would <clears> bite you oh, yeah. Yeah. and I think uh, the, the, it was like to keep the they don't like the vinegar so it keeps the, f the flies away from you and then uh, but no <laughs> no no sunblock kids covered in vinegar and flies <laughs> <laughs> and those kids are from Philly yeah yeah they're like reek like vinegar they always got flies around <laughs> and we, we, she also loved for some reason she loved the look of those like of like those like swimmer like like in the European oh, look no. like they look like underwear they right put those on what? okay yes yes oh, dude. like a swimmer like a swimmer God, she you. loved that look <laughs> right and we were too young but I was old enough I was probably like nine oh, God. you know nine you or it eight good. or nine or ten yeah, yeah. and she was like you just look so cute in these and meanwhile like you know maybe at like six you don't care but by the time you hit like ten you're like yeah. my dick is tiny. <laughs> And it looks so bad. Yeah, it looks and so I, much smaller. In yeah, this. like I. Yeah, and so now I'm where I'm. <laughs> God only knows how it's reacting to the vinegar too. You know, yeah, right. Shrivels it Shrivel right up. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like a Can like I get a slug. some balsamic on like it or a slug. something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that is so well, weird. I've never oh, heard of yeah. that. Like, I, I mean, I grew up I, in the South with a lot I of horse flies. Nothing but good memories though. Like I just I remember right. it, it sure, being you didn't care. really fun. No, I did. I did remember caring once, like ten or eleven. I remember there being like a group of kids and me always like having my hands over my dick. And then like my cousin being like, look, man, there's no hiding. <laughs> there's no right. hiding. You got to get a new suit. You got to just got to get a new suit. And I was like, all right. And then, so 11 years old, you were still wearing like the European. Uh, maybe 10. Yeah. Like I, I'll, I'll get some, I'll get some photos because we have some photos. I look happy in the photos. I do really enjoy I when bad. I see, uh, it's always like an, a, an older gentleman. It's always a man like, yeah, well into his sixties or above. You know, and those guys are just like, I don't give a fuck. This yeah. is what I like. Yeah, yeah. This is what I want to wear. This yeah. is what I like. This is what makes me comfortable. And I don't care how it makes you feel. Well, and I'll it, tell you what. I was tan as shit. Like for as 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 right. Irish skin that I have. I was like, because we would be out there on the beach every day covered in vinegar with no clothing, <laughs> with no clothing on. So I was so tan. The photos you see of me, I'm like, this is crazy. I look so, how so the, dark. How does the vinegar affect the sun? Does it does it make you get more sun or does it actually well, block the sun? I think hole? she, from her point of view, I think it did has, no, no, it didn't block the sun. I think it was like an oil, it had the same properties as like a baby oil. That's what I'm saying. So it enhanced the. Yeah, I, the I believe so. Yeah. Ah, like she sorry. wanted us tan. Yeah. Right, not it, it just because that was the healthy look, you know. Right, right. I want my uh -huh. my babe, my I want my kids to look healthy. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. I'm gonna spray them in vinegar, yeah. get them out uh, there. Yeah, I want this kid you know? to. And if he's covered in horsefly bumps, then yeah. that negates the whole thing. Sure, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll dig I up some to photos. resemble a French fry. You know what I mean? I think like I look pretty good if I'm being honest. I mean, my I look like you know like. My dick didn't look great. Uh, yeah. I, was, I was a little kid. I don't know if you should be looking at a little kid's dick anyway. But like, I think my my body looked all right. <laughs> <laughs> I was tan I as so. shit. I, guess I so. was tan. Yeah, I guess so. Um, what I, percentage I, of people are going to try the vinegar thing now? They're like, oh, you were really tan? Let me try the vinegar. I, listen, I grew up in Alabama where we had a, a shitload of horse flies. 
And nobody ever sprayed me in vinegar. Nobody ever suggested spraying you know me down. It could have been to fuck with us. I don't know. It could have been to be like, look, we got to toughen this kid up. Right. So we got to get him out there and like having kids pick at him so he can, I don't know, get the. So he can spend the rest of his life overcompensating. Yes. It's a bizarre move one way or the other. Yeah. Yes. Just to spray vinegar. yourself in vinegar is very strange. Yeah. We should have possible. my we should have my mom on the podcast and have her answer for it. I just feel like I don't remember any of that. Oh, I don't know. You're supposed to get vinegar all over you, Anna. That's what you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop, Robbie. You loved it. When when uh, when was your mom, uh, when did your mom and Mary get together? How old were you? Ooh, uh, I, I, very young. Not, a nine, ten, something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, for, they've been together forever. All right, so she was involved in the vinegar. But it depends on who you ask. These were, these, these were nurses, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Well, my, my, Mary was not a nurse. Uh, my, my mother was a. My, my mother was. A oh, nurse. I thought Mary well, was actually also a nurse. at this point. Mother was. My mother was not a nurse. She was in nursing school. Ah. She was. Uh, she had just transitioned from um, pyramid scheme <laughs> salesman into. She, she was one of those like <laughs> we had this thing called Shackley. No, I don't which know is that basically neutral neutral life or oh, okay. or Amway like it's in that yeah. so it's, it's like, like a supplement vitamin. yeah supplements yeah, yeah, and yeah. vitamins and whatever and and I just remember they were there was like Shackley pills everywhere I mean she was she's a go getter like she was like a entrepreneur yeah and yeah. was like I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get a I'm gonna become a part of this thing and I'm gonna sell I'm gonna be the best Shackley salesman in all of Philadelphia yeah and then I just I don't think anybody bought them. In South Philly, there. Uh, like, nah, that's the thing nah, about hon. the pyramid scheme. It's about selling to the person who's going to sell. Yeah, yeah. You're constantly trying to offload it, not to the customer, but to the person who's going to be a under new you. salesman. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. We addressed that on the show as well. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. We hit it. All. God, we've done everything, haven't we? We haven't done vinegar. I mean, maybe we can do a thing about vinegar. I don't know. I mean, uh, Megan, can you jot that down just so we don't forget for season sixteen? We want to do a vinegar yeah. episode. A vinegar. Maybe we should look into vinegar as a sponsor. What are the popular vinegars that are, that are well, out there's, there? Well, uh, there's. I tell you, I'm a big fan of a salt and vinegar chip. I mean, oh, come on, buddy, I will go nuts on a salt and vinegar bag yeah. of chips, man. Yeah. Oh. Probably, I'll bet you my the best. skin tasted like salt and vinegar chips. <laughs> right, because well, you're salty. Yeah. It's yeah. salty. It's salty vinegar from and the sun. And, it's baking. Uh-huh. It's baking into the. So maybe maybe you smelled great. Maybe you smelled like a bag of salt and vinegar potato chips. Oh, they don't smell good though. No, they don't. They don't. No. Salt and vinegar chips don't smell good. Not well, to me. I I don't like this. I like it. Yeah, well, I, t- like I mean, it's not, it doesn't stop me from eat, from eating them. Yeah, so well, maybe we would have been friends when 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 we were kids. <laughs> what do you think? Like, I accept you. Would you would you have accepted vinegar, kid? I doubt. I it. might have been thrown off by the speedo. Yeah, yeah, yeah more than that. the vinegar. Well, then once I got close, then the vinegar would have just <laughs> yeah overpowered. <laughs> right, you you see the speedo and you're like, I'm going to give this kid a shot. I don't I, it's know. Not, I'm going to give him a shot. You get closer, he also smells like vinegar. It's like that's. That's too many things. This is too much. <laughs> that's too many things. Like, you this know, to have much. that on and smell like vinegar. Now, that's... I don't recall any Speedos in New England. I don't ever remember. I don't seen. recall any Speedos in Jersey. <laughs> so it was just you. Us. It was just the McElhenney's. The McElhenney boys. God, help Just Pat, me and Pat, Patrick and I. Yeah, that was it. You know what I'm not a fan of is the thong. Like uh, on the beach, like like the thong is very popular. Mm-hmm. Man, I, I don't like it's. I don't like the look. You like a little mystery, yeah. It makes it look like a rhino's butt to me. Mm, right, you know right. what I mean? Like it's like like it, like it makes mm-hmm. the crack look longer than it should be. Is there also something to like you know how that thing where it like looks uncomfortable too? If somebody is scantily clad, it's more attractive than someone who's just like completely naked. Do you see? Do you, do, you, do you feel that way? Sometimes? Wait, say, say say that again. Meaning like when I know there's a saying. little air of mystery I know where you're, you're like. I can see aspects of your nudity and your body mm. through your clothing, for example, is maybe more attractive than someone who's just like nude. Yes, I, I, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah I, li- I like a little mystery. Yeah, personally. Meg, like when you see a juicy dong hanging down somebody's <laughs> pant leg, is that better than seeing the dong itself? Yeah. Which, how do you... A, a, an adult dong or a 10-year-old? No, no, an adult uh, dong. We're talking yeah, adult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 How do you yeah, like I, your dongs? I like, I don't want to see any more than half of it. Right. Yeah, sure. But you don't yeah. mind seeing the top. Yeah, a little bush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That makes okay. sense. That's how I feel about the thong, man. It's like, it's like elephant Meg, butt. do you like to see like uh, like an outline? Like, would you find the outline of a dick in a pants attractive or just weird? Um, I don't find it. It's like, it's sp- specifically a tool for something. So it's like, to me, it's like a plunger. I don't care what it looks like. <laughs> As long as oh, it works, like the visual <laughs> element is not what that's I right. like. Yeah, about that's it. right. Yeah, that's well, so, also I've never the, thought of it that way. But you're totally but right. Women are generally not as visual. Plunger. It's a means to yeah. an end, right? 
It's yeah, a means yeah, to an yeah, end. Yeah. 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 Like if I was, if a guy was like, I know how to use a plunger, I'd be like, cool. But if he was like, look how cool my plunger looks, I'd be like, I don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, can you yeah. Can, can you use can it? Can you unclog my toilet? Yeah. I don't care how it yeah. looks. Yeah. Uh, you're on the A train. It's four thirty in the morning. Guy opens his trench coat. There's his plunger. <laughs> right. You're like, buddy. There's not even a toilet on this thing. Why, why am I looking at your plunger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this, man? Right, right, right. What kind of is train this? is this? What kind of train is this? <laughs> you fucking smell like you know? vinegar, man. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna dig up some photos of of you as a kid. Yeah. Oh, I'd like to see I, that. I, yeah, because I'm I'm fa- I just remember can we put those? Do we have a website yet, Megan? We have a social media we have presence. A, yeah, well, yeah, we do have Instagram a social media account. presence. But let's try. Let's try to get. Yeah, see if you can get your hands on some of those photos, and let's get those up on the internet. Let's okay. make sure the world sees them. Great. Uh, I because I want I I want to see them and I want the world to see them. If you're okay with that, I, yeah, I think you know I what will I mean. Be, yeah. And maybe maybe, uh, and and this is for you guys out there. When these photos hopefully do pop up on uh, our social media, go ahead and take that photo and put some you know some lot some stinky lines coming off of mm-hmm. it. You know uh-huh, what I mean? Uh-huh. So that he's so that he's like, uh, what was the kid from the pe- from Peanuts? Yeah, he's always big yeah, uh, big yeah. It's a big bad, yeah. You know, yeah. but it's like but it's like vinegar, just sort of like you know baking off of your yeah. off of your yeah. body. So if you but can don't put any flies him. on him, the flies will be around him, but they won't <laughs> land on him. The no, flies, yeah, they won't. Yeah, but the flies they'll come in and they'll be like, nah, not that guy. Like, let's go get the other guy. Yeah, just like the girls. Yeah. They'd be like, ah, yeah, same, yeah. but the, was, the vinegar is the same effect. Yeah, she was repelling flies and friends. Yeah, every time you went to the beach, and, and, not, and we weren't into it. I wasn't like, yeah, get me. I was like, I don't <laughs> get. I me. hate vinegar. I just, mom, can we just not? She's like, look, you just got to do it. I'm like, okay. It's Everyone like brushing else is your doing teeth. it. Now, like did, let me ask teeth. you this: Did you did you ever did you ever get your way? And and mom was like, all right, fine. We're not. We won't do the vinegar. And let's see how you did with the with the horse flies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well then, yeah. I, I don't know if, when the transition did, was to me. Did you ever get bit by a horse fly? Oh fuck yeah! It sucks. fucking hurts. They, yeah. that does well, they hurt. call them greenheads yeah. in oh. Jersey, but they were the same. It's the same idea. Right? There yeah. weren't any horses around. They were mean. They were fucking mean. Like yeah. we would be swimming in in a swimming pool, like a, at our house or my friend's house or whatever, and there'd be like there'd always be like one horse fly who was just like just wanted us. You know what I mean? And just want to get why, us. Why? Are, are, are they eating whatever they bite? What are they, <laughs> like, yeah, is what it, are they, is it are they food? Suckers? Are they or are, are they, they just uh, are they warning to? you away from their right? You are know, they protecting their, 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 their children, turf. their children, their turf. Yeah, or, their fly or, children. Or are they are they protecting their fly babies? Eating your or are skin. They, right. Are they having a little nibble? Yeah. What do they What do they want from us? Female horse flies require blood during summer's mating season, which is why they bite people. Okay. Okay. So they want, but they'll take the they blood. They want of blood like women. <laughs> right, like women. Who's, <laughs> they're right, out for, they're out for the, to, during mating season. They will. They they need. They need your blood. They need your blood. They want your blood. So that's what they're. That's what they're after. They want to get under the skin, get that blood, and and then just, uh, just the females. Yeah. Okay. And they and they they do this. To, they'll do this to any animal, right? Not just not yes. just humans. Obviously, they're called horse flies, so they do it to horses. But they'll take any kind of blood that mm-hmm. they can get. God, what an existence! Just flying around, me like ah. I need blood. Yeah. You know? Yeah, just looking for <laughs> fucking blood. Just you know, fucking like, flying around needing blood? Oh. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine? You see a fucking, can you imagine? Can you see like a group of kids like playing in a pool and you're just like, I can't. Ah, oh, look at all that blood. <laughs> ah, shit, they're covered in vinegar. <laughs> I can't get to their blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh, no the life of a horse fly the huh? life of a horse right, fly. guys yeah um it's nice well, to see is, you that guys. It? is that it guys are you got are you uh yeah, are you I've, over, to... I've overextended myself you know um right probably to make up for uh the years of abuse that's what i'm talking yeah, about for with the from the kids yeah you were the vinegar kid and yeah. you'll never let it you'll never be able to let that I'll go, always so be you... the kid with the little dick that the uh, smell like vinegar yeah yeah you know, in my mind yeah. so i have to Keep achieve, achieving. Prove, I don't yeah. know. I don't know what is that. Something to prove. Yeah, Maybe. something to prove. Something yeah. to prove it. Chip on my I shoulder. We all have that. Doesn't everyone have that like a little bit? Yeah. Something to prove. I think anyone who's an actor in Hollywood has a little bit of that. Like, for sure. I got something to prove yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say my chip is, yeah, directly proportionate to the size of the chip is directly in proportionate to the uh, opposite size of Your uh, penis. my deck. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the smaller Going the penis. On the, and on about smaller this. the penis, the bigger the chip is what you're saying. Yeah, I think maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah. It's a salt and vinegar chip. That's salt and salt that, vinegar chip. That should be the end right Big there. Vinegar. That's <laughs> Great. Can you guys do me one favor and clap? Yep. I can't clap. Oh yeah. <laughs>